Hi guys, today I'll be walking you through on how to set up your landing page correctly that you did right here in your ClickFunnels account. Um, before you will create any tracking or rotator link to be provided to your solo ads vendor. So for me to do that, well, let me first log into my ClickFunnels account. So uh, I'm actually a member of the 4% group. So uh, on this demonstration, I will show you a funnel that is shared to us by Vic Strauss. Um, he's the owner of 4%. So I do have two sets of funnel right here. I do have a version one and version two of the seven step to result guide. Okay, and I will deal on this funnel right here. Okay, as you can see in every funnel set, we do have three sets of landing pages. So we are actually doing some split testing right here so that we will know um, which is the winner and also which is the loser after we will do some traffic into this landing pages so that later on we can just keep the winner and then just tweak those losers or maybe just remove them okay so um, on this demonstration i will walk you through guys and how to set up a landing page properly so that everything will run smoothly okay so let's start with the first landing page right here so what i need to check first if this is integrated with my autoresponder so if you just if you're just following me guys actually i set up already an autoresponder globally into this click account of mine so i do have a video on that one that i made separately so let me um check if this landing page is integrated correctly to my autoresponder Okay, so I do have a Webword and I attach this one to this particular list, 4% as prospect. So basically what will happen is that when the customer or the prospect will fill up the information, uh, like they put their email address and then click this button right here, um, their email would, will end up to my autoresponder and then I can send them follow-up messages. So that's what will happen here. Next, I would like to check on the tracking code. So this tracking code, actually I took this one in Facebook because, because as you know that most of our customer prospect have a, has a Facebook account, right? So I do have also a separate video about this one where I also did a demonstration on how to create a custom audience list in Facebook and then uh, how to get the pixel code and that's why I'm attaching the pixel code right here okay so that um because let's face the fact right those customers that we bring in to our landing page not not all of them were going to up and right that like they will provide their information some of them will just bounce back but you don't want this customer that you will lose them completely because you spend money on them like just to see your landing page so as much as possible you can still monetize on them in the future that's why you need to create a custom audience list so that later on when you do some uh, pay-per-click advertising such as in facebook instagram um any other social media sites and also like pay-per-click from google yahoo and bing you can still uh redirect those um customers that already showed their hands up the first time to your um, offer to your product okay so next is um, I would like to check on this page right here if this one is correctly set up okay email is required so if they click this button set action submit the form that's what I want and then general okay so i set this one right here so basically when they click this button they will be sent directly to my seven step offer which is this one right here so this is the sales funnel of the seven step to result guide okay so um a field badge should be hidden and uh, just save it okay and just exit out from here and we and you will just do the same step on your second landing page Okay, settings, integration, looks good. Tracking code, we have the tracking code. And every page, let's see right here. The email is required. Are you still following me, guys? 
Okay, set to action, submit the form, that's good. So if you do have problem, follow me, just pause the video and then um, you can actually repeat it so many times and then just implement it right away, guys. That's the only thing that you need to do. Okay, so I set up prompt correctly, hide a foot badge, okay, save. Okay, so let me go to the last page on this funnel. Okay. Okay, integration. Okay, the other responder is set up right here. Tracking code. So we do have the tracking code. Okay, invoice required. Set action, submit web form. General. Okay, hide. That's okay. Save. Okay, and exit. So we will go to another funnel here, which is the version 2. Okay, and the same process. Uh, we need to uh, properly set up every autoresponder, our, our product sales funnel into each of this landing page right here. So let's edit that one. Okay, setting integration. Okay, that is set up correctly. Tracking. Okay, we have one for Facebook. Now let's check this one right here. Every box. Okay, email is required. The action. Set to action. Submit the form. That's what I want. General. Okay, so. Okay, I do have the version 2 right here. And hide and save this one. Okay, so let's go to the next landing page. Okay. This is just me, guys, working. So let's see our integration. Okay. Tracking. It's okay. So I'm checking it one by one if I did this one correctly. So basically, when they click on this one, um, nothing will happen. But eventually, later on, we can twitch on this one and we can create another funnel that is connected to this one right here if they click on this button. Okay, so I would like to check on this one here. Okay, set action. Open the pop-off. Okay, so pop-off, edit the settings. Okay, this one right here. So email is required when they click this button. Okay, set to action, submit the form. Okay, so we need to check right here. Let me just close that one. General and submitted to our sales offer right here. Hide, that's what I want, and then save. Okay, so let's go to the last landing page of this funnel. Okay, set integration. Okay, set the funnel correctly. Tracking. Okay, I have the tracking from Facebook. I need to check every button here. Okay. So set to action. Open the pop up. Edit settings. So right here. For address that's good required set the action submit the form that's what I need and general okay it's connected to our sales offer hide the badge and save and that's it we just set up both of the funnels right here um, correctly uh, properly I mean and um, so uh, if you do have question to me guys just leave your message below and if you like this tutorial video just give it a thumbs up and uh, subscribe to my channel guys have a great day guys bye guys